Welcome to another Method Man Productions lesson. That was just weird. Alright, anyways, today we're going to learn about slope intercept form, and you need two things for that. You need a slope and a y intercept. Maybe that's why they call it slope intercept form. In the equation, it's written in the format y equals mx plus b, where m stands for slope and b stands for the y intercept. I don't know why they chose the letter B for Y intercept. I don't know, I would have chose something else, but it is what it is. So again, M stands for slope, B is the Y intercept. As long as you have those two, you can write an equation in slope intercept form. All right, I put the format right there, Y equals MX plus B. As long as you have a slope and a Y intercept, you got yourself an equation. So first question in example one, write an equation of line with a slope of three. So I already listed my slope and y-intercept, the two things I need. It said the slope was three, the y-intercept is negative two. All you have to do is substitute them in into the format. If you y and x, you leave there. So it's y equals, instead of m, it's a three, substitute it in, x minus two. Voila, that easy. Letter B, write an equation of a horizontal line that has the y-intercept of 3. We're only given a y-intercept here, which is a 3. But it says it's a horizontal line. What do you know about horizontal lines? Yep, they have a zero slope. So if you write the equation y equals, you can put 0x plus 3, which is the same thing as y equals 3. The last one, write an equation of a line that has a y-intercept of 4 and a slope of 1.5. A lot of my students get these mixed up, and here's a mistake they make. They just put in the order they see it. So just read it carefully. It says y-intercept of 4, that's my letter B, and a slope of 1.5. That's my slope. I just flip-flopped it. Now write your equation. Again, just substitute it in for your slope and y-intercept. And you got yourself an equation. y equals 1.5x plus 4. Please pause the video and try out example 2. It looks a little different, but remember, you just need two things, a slope and a y-intercept. If you get stuck, just read the little clue right below you. And if you haven't noticed by now, the slope is usually next to the x in slope-intercept form. I know you got this answer. y equals negative one-fourth x plus four. Remember, y-intercept just means where the graph hits that y-axis, where they intersect. And if you have a y-intercept and a slope, it's easier to write that slope-intercept form. Before I end, remember to Subscribe to Method Man 20 for more math lessons.